Hey folks, Wrath coming at you with the follow-up video to the free-to-play series, Day 5. Yes, what you saw is correct, and I'll give you my thoughts in just a second. But I believe if you really are free-to-play, or you're trying to be free-to-play in this game, the first four or five days are instrumental for you being able to do that. So why do I think that you should re-roll after Day 4 or 5? barring the major reasons you know that you spent your resources incorrectly or you haven't really focused on the right champs the main one that i want to outline is leo so to me it's, it's become very evident that the champion pool that we have available now versus what i had when i first started is fundamentally different and if i recall correctly you know we had luke and ravenna in week one however Leo is a game changer for early and mid game progression. And so what I decided to do on day four and five was pull 80 limiteds and you get those through playing the story mode, you get those through attempting the altar and the rewards that come with it. Effectively, you accrue somewhere between 90 to 100. But 80 is the sweet spot for two reasons. First, you get a guaranteed copy of Leo. And then second, you get a gene hybrid copy for 80 of the tokens so that means that within 80 pulls you'll effectively get two copies of leo and it's precisely for this reason that i think if you've only gotten two copies out of 80 limiteds that you should restart you'll notice throughout the later of the parts of the video that some of the other content creators who are competing in this series have gotten a couple of copies of leo and that has pushed them significantly further in the storyline and so what I'm trying to say is this, if you pull 80 limiteds and you only get two copies, you should reroll four or five days investment in an account that's exclusively trying to be free to play is unlucky. And so over the course of the you know next three or four days, I think you reroll it onto the same server or a new server. And if you get one or two additional copies of Leo, that will catapult you into progression in the game significantly. And so we're all doing this as a science test to effectively find out how the guide should get changed for new players and where you should spend your time and resources. But also, if you are trying to compete as a free-to-play player, you should maximize the opportunity cost of all the free resources that you get early in the game. Therefore, since this account is only going to be about a month, month and a half in tenure, I'm not going to reroll because there's still parts of, you know, uh, week two, week three, and week four that I am genuinely curious on. However, if I was uh, legitimately going to play a free-to-play account, I would at this point in time re-roll. So given that information, what I'm going to do now is just showcase some of the parts of the game that I focused on and give you some ideas on why I focused on those characters. And so throughout the, the discourse that I've had here, uh, I played various parts of where I am in the game, Right now, I just showcased what team I was using for some of the story stage progression. And then right here is a good place just to give you guys an idea on who I focused on. And luckily, the limited summon on Leo also gives you artists and tailor copies. And those are two fantastic champs for you to focus on alongside with Leo. For example, artists with a multi-hit, um, Taylor with the jump that you can use in Terradome, etc. So I'll probably maximize Taylor and Artis, or rather prioritize Taylor and Artis besides Leo to, um, to Immortal first. Uh, and then the other thing to note is I've made some progression in Disa Caves, in Sinsaro Marsh, and in Terradome that I've started to acquire Red Gear. And Red Gear really is propelling all the characters that I'm focusing on to help progress the story stage. And then one final note on characters here, Luke, I was able to obtain from the Grand Ceremony. I, I will note that Luke, I'm not going to actively focus on at all. You know, if I obtain copies of him through events throughout the game, I'm happy to have them. But even on my main account right now, Luke has yet to hit exclusive level 30. And simply because there's much better options for progression, there's much better champs that will help you in other areas including PvP, that have a long more bang for their buck. Hopefully you all found this interesting. Again, I'm aware that I have different opinions than a lot of folks. Let me know what you guys think, and see you next time.